everybody. This is Marty here with the Prepper Journal. And uh, first things first, I want to say thanks to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. I've been getting two or three a day now for the past couple weeks, and it's really helping out my subscriber number. So uh, thank you, you know, for your support. And to the nitty gritty, uh, a lot of y'all don't know. Uh, probably going on a month or now, the Mustang that I had, uh, the 2012 Mustang, I traded it in on a new Dodge and uh, I needed a truck. I don't know why I got a Mustang. I liked the Mustang a whole lot. It, I had nothing bad to say about it. But I had to get a truck and it was a little more expensive a month, like 100 bucks, and it really put me on a budget. And as you've seen from my other videos, I've done other gun videos and stuff like that, but I had to sell my guns. Yeah. Uh, I needed some money for my truck to put down and didn't have any that I could throw at it at the time, but I did have some guns, so I know I did the dumb thing. Sold all my guns so I could get this truck. So, I'm starting again on the journey to acquire firearms. Um, but this time's really different. Before, I had probably $1,000 a month money I could piss away. Um, mm, no, not, not no more. Uh, my payment is it puts a pretty big dent into that thousand dollars so uh... people keep texting me um, so yeah i'm on a pretty heavy budget so i've been thinking uh... i see a lot of videos on youtube about people making survival rifles or survival shotguns and i got to thinking i was like oh, that's pretty cool uh... it's something I, I i need to have a weapon in the house uh... for personal defense hunting uh, whatever um, so I thought about getting one of those Henry 22's you know the Henry survival 22's like the US Air Force use but again that's like two hundred seventy five three hundred dollars and you know I can't take down everything with a 22 rifle it, you know the 22's are great I love 22's but at the end of the day they just don't do everything well got to think of some more. What's the one gun that I can get that takes down just about anything I'd want to? Anywhere, anything from a pigeon to a squirrel to a rabbit to a dove to, you know, a turkey to a quail, deer, you know, anything you want up to black bear. Anything that you want, uh, maybe not black bear, but a big animal like a bear. Uh, 12 gauge shotgun will do all of that, okay? Um, so, right then and there, I knew that 12 gauge was going to be my first new weapon or shotgun, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying. You know, number four, so, you know, I'm a little off. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cheap date, okay? <laughs> Take it for what it is. Uh, so, anyway, I'm on a pretty strict budget. So, I've seen people take 12 gauge shotguns and turn them into kind of a, an all in all survival uh, firearm. So, what I've got here is a 12 gauge single shot break open shotgun. Okay, now this one here is made by the New England Firearms Company, and I think it's uh, Gardner, Massachusetts, is where this gun's made. Now, this gun here is about three or four years old, and it cost me 80 bucks. Good budget. Okay, that fits in my budget. Now, uh, why the 12 gauge single shot shotgun, you may ask? Well, there's several things that turn me on about it. One is this can go from being a 12 gauge, I can make it a 410, or shoot 410. I can make it shoot, uh, what is it, uh, 45 long coat, I think. Uh, 44, 9mm, 38 Special, and 22 Long Rifle, all out of this one gun. Now, the way you do that is you buy adapters, and these adapters, they're CNC machined, I believe, pieces of, I don't know what they're made out of, surely they're not aluminum, they're probably some type of stainless or something, titanium, or I don't know. Uh, they slide down in the barrel and then whatever round you want to shoot slides inside that barrel and you close it up, 
shoot whatever you got to shoot. And the round comes out and you throw another one in. Now, the reason why I like that idea is because, as you know, even though the gun prices are starting to stabilize, there's still some ammo out there you can't get a hold of. And say if I was in a real survival situation, now I'm not talking shit hit the fan, you know, where people's coming at you with AR-15s and all that kind of shit. I'm just talking like your basic survival type scenario. You just need it, say, say here where I live, we got hit by a tornado, okay? Grocery stores are laid out, can't get food. You know, this right here would be, you know, what was gonna put the food on the table. You know, I could go get squirrels, I could get rabbits, I could get anything I possibly wanted. Now, say I didn't have any 12 gauge. Well, shit, found 20 gauge, got my 20 gauge adapter, throw it in here, put my 20 gauge round in it, bam, I got bullets, okay? That's why I like this whole idea. Now, secondly, the reason why I like this gun, it's not heavy, it's light, okay? If I had to show somebody how to use a firearm, how to hunt, or whatever, you know, it's it's very easy to carry. It's narrow. You know, say if I had to teach a little girl or a little boy how to shoot a shotgun, this would fit them well. You know, uh, and it's not intimidating. You know, it just looks like Grandpa's old shotgun, which is cool. And you know, another thing, say if I had to bug out and I had to throw this in the truck or in the jeep, you know, and say I got pulled over, say state trooper looked in my truck and. They seen Grandpa's old, sh old shotgun. Well, he's not gonna think I'm out doing anything stupid. Not with a single shot, you know, break open, 12 gauge shotgun. He's just not gonna get that impression. Now, if it was a black AR-15, uh, AK-47, FNFAL, you know, the list goes on, they would be like, sir, may I ask you why you have that scary black gun? So, again, that's another good point of this weapon. Now. If somebody broke into my house, chances are it's going to be one person, uh, you know, with a good, you know, three-inch magnum in this shotgun. It's really going to make somebody have a bad day. And, you know, I'm pretty confident in my shooting and loading abilities that I could throw another 12-grade round in this gun and not have a problem, which I know I can because I grew up on this gun, which not this particular gun, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and it, there's just so many good things about this gun that I think a lot of people overlook, you know. Um, it, I just don't, like I said, I just don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about it other than the fact that it is single shot, you know. Um, and this is a gun on a budget, you know, 80 bucks. So, and I also found a website online where I can get probably every one of those adapters for this gun for probably 130 bucks. So for a little bit over $200, I can have a 20 gauge, a 12 gauge, you know, 45 long coat, 9 millimeter, 38 special, and 22 long, all right here. And another thing about those adapters, they make some that actually have it, they're 10 inches long, and it's the adapter plus, you know, whatever 8, 9 inch barrel all in one, and it's already rifled. So, you know, that's another good thing. And I've seen videos on YouTube where guys are shooting 22s out of these, and they're pretty damn accurate, like 35 or 40 yards. So, you know, you really can't say no, you wouldn't want to have one of these guns, because there's no sense not to. Uh, it's just, you know, if you don't make a lot of money, if you say if you made $2.50 an hour plus tips, you've got six kids, and you've got bills, there's no reason why you couldn't afford this you know, have in your home for protection. So, uh, let me show you the biggest thing about this gun that I like, okay? Ease of maintenance, okay? It's got one screw right here, and it comes out in about 10 turns. And you just take and you grab this for it, and you pull it down. You don't get no simpler than that. You know, it's got ease of maintenance. You know, you can clean that, no big deal. Okay, you can get in here, and clean all your goodies in here, which it's nothing. Firing pin, you see it right there. Uh, there's nothing in here. It's, I mean, it's, what else do you want? Now, the only thing I don't know, I don't know how to take the trigger out and clean it, but, you know, after all these guns that I've had in the past, 
there was never been no need. I've never had anything to break. These guns have been around forever. This gun will be around for probably 400 years, and it probably still works. Okay, and then you got your grip. So, say if I had to bug out or I had to go someplace, uh, say for some reason we had to evacuate <coughs> due to bad weather or whatever, I could break this down and put it in a little hard case or some type of protective sleeve, and you know, and I could attach it to my bag and uh, wouldn't have a problem. Wouldn't take you know four or five seconds to put this thing back together. As you can see. And just take a little screw. Hell, you could do that on the run. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, you probably could do that on the run because this gun's so damn simple. You know, just have your Leatherman or have something you can get down there to tighten a little screw with. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's it. It's together. So, I plan on, you know, maybe changing out this stock or putting up, getting one of the plastic stocks or hollow on the inside where I can store stuff. Uh, I am going to cut this barrel down to 20 inches, so it's like 26 or 28 now. Uh, I do plan on doing that, but I'll have videos in the future of this gun and what I plan to do to it to make it my survival rifle. Now, or shit, shotgun. I have seen other videos on YouTube, and a lot of them have some pretty cool ideas. But they don't have my idea, and my idea is the best. So, haha. -ha. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, keep an eye out for that, guys. So, if you've never looked into a... 12 gauge shotgun as a survival um, weapon, you might want to look into it. Like I said, it's you can make this gun tack to cool all day long. You know, they make the AR type you know stocks and four rips and you know you can get pick rails and you can actually have that kind of shit installed and there's been some people make some really cool stuff onto this gun. But I do want to say one thing. By no means is this shotgun tack to cool. Okay? There's a difference. Tactical or tactical. Now, there's nothing tactical about this gun. So don't go out and get it thinking you're going to be a Mr. Cool single shot tactical shotgun guy. It's just not going to happen. This is not a, uh, a weapon that in any way, shape, or form can perform that function. Okay. Now, tactical, you can do all kinds of neat stuff to it to make it look neat. Uh, but I plan on leaving it in the woodstock. You know, just keeping it that non, you know, attractive, doesn't get a lot of attention type Woodstock grandpa shotgun. So, anyway, uh, guys, girls, I think that's about it. I'm going to sign off here and I'm going to get me some grub. <coughs> I'm going to finish drinking my beer so I can grow up to be big and strong. And, uh, like I said, please like and subscribe to this video. Uh, if you do subscribe, make sure you click that little gear next to the subscribe button and click the email notification uh, spot there so you get notified when I make new videos and it would help me out and I would appreciate it. Uh, leave any comments below. If you have one of these guns and you've kind of you know, built one and made it cool, uh, drop me an email or leave it something in the comments below and uh, let me know. I'm kind of stoked about getting onto this project. So, uh, guys, this is Marty with uh, the Prepper Journal and I'll catch you all later. See ya.